One event is in the books. And it's another major title for Sean Winter. Today, at the final table of event number two, we answer the question, can Kristen Foxen become the first female champion in the history of the Poker Go Cup? Cards are back in the air from Las Vegas next. Like Aline Najat said, welcome back to Las Vegas for the Poker Go Cup. This is the event two final table. My name is Rem Karinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me as we come at you live from the Poker Go studio, just a few minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. We got an exciting final table for you all once again today. And Kristen Foxen is today's headliner. But this guy, Aram Zobian, former WSAP main event finalist, is our current chip leader. Ali Najat Maria Ho are on the call on Pokego.com. And Donnie and I will bring you this one hour free preview of the action as Punat Punsri, Seth Davies, Andrew Moreno, and Kerry Katz are also among the contenders here at this final table. 83 total entries, 12 players finished in the money, and there's Kristen Fox and $5.6 million in career tournament earnings. And looking at her resume, dating back well over a decade at this point, she has to be the favorite to win this event. And here's a look at Kerry Katz. Second cash, the only player who's cashed both events so far. Last year finished 20th on the PGT, cashing for 1.9 million, two wins, 23 caches. And we both know already that Katz is motivated for a good run again in 2023. Here's a look at some information about the Pokemon Cup. Eight event series, 10K up to 50K, a 50K cash bonus to the series champion. And of course, yesterday, you guys all joined us to watch Sean Winter win what was an epic final table beating Alex Fox and Heads Up, which included arguably the hand of the year, Fox versus Mateos, the ace high call. That whole clip is available on our YouTube channel yeah. in case you missed I'm it. I'm shocked he's missing us. Right, let's get straight you know into the action. To Donnie, right? do what, what, what yeah. stands out to you about this final table? Why do you move to Pennsylvania? But for Carrie a Katz. girl, they, they can I mean, come back. Kristen Fox and of course, um, it's good to see I her back Cherish in the studio. She got everything she uh, needed to get squared up, up in terms of mil. being a Canadian, playing in the U.S. with all those tax laws. Um, and then Kerry Katz obviously making his second uh, final table, or I second agree. cash of the series, first final table. Um, as yeah, you mentioned, the only player to do one. that. Uh, yeah. He's very bullish on the PGT overall. Uh, just um, He's one of the players, I think, that took right. Daniel Negreanu up on his yep, uh, be, wager for PGT points. So Kerry's going to be grinding. And, you know, first two events of the year, he's getting some points. Aram Zobian. You guys and girls at home probably remember him from the WSP main event final table. At this point, about five years ago, time really flies. Zobian, I believe, finished seventh bad, back huh? then. Has been has been a mainstay on the circuit. Yeah, he, uh, he pops in and out of PGT events. Doesn't play probably the biggest schedule, um, but he plays enough. Plays around. 49K guaranteed for the remaining six players. 207 up top, and of course, points corresponding to those payouts. 207 here. points up for grabs uh, for the PGT yeah. as well as for the Pokego Cup. They say Henderson's the fourth safest city in the United States or something. Really? Who said that? I don't know. Some publication I read. Yeah, yeah. Henderson's super I don't, safe. I don't, I can't yeah. name my, I can't name my source. I just read an article. Daily Mail. <laughs> Andrew Moreno, by the way, better known as Amo. Donnie and I have known him for well over 10 years. Looking like a Dragon Ball Z character today. Really love the look he's going for. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Jeff Platt in the back there, top right corner. Don't miss it. <laughs> Jeff Platt in the mix today, playing event number three. Sitting right next to Daniel Negroni. I mean, there's two legends of the game. Jason Parker in the chat. Let's go, Team Bearded Men. I'm a big fan of that team. I belong on that team. I'm, a, I'm jealous of that team. I mean, you got... Zobian, Davies, Moreno, all great beards. Remco here next to me, great beard. I mean, everyone's got a great beard except for me. I, I'm really curious if Kerry Cass can grow a good beard. No shot. He probably grows a beard worse than I do. Really? And I grow a beard no. horrifically. I think <laughs> I, I think Kerry is maybe not allowed to grow a beard. But the clean look Why? looks good. Well, like, you know, maybe his wife is not a fan of beards. That's all I'm trying to say. Won't make you reach that far. But Andrew so Moreno, brutal. thickest beard in poker. Out there for Here's a look at Punat Punsri, an investor from Bangkok, Thailand. 
Yeah. Number one on Thailand's all-time money list, of course, <laughs> made possible by that massive score at the WSOP last year, third in the 50K high roller for almost 600K. If you're tuning in on YouTube, I promised last night that we're going to do a giveaway for a free annual subscription in the first 10 minutes, so well, I mean, better tell your friends. That is a pretty strict rule. We have about five minutes left for the first giveaway. You would think if you're going to smoke crack, you wouldn't like ask for permission. You would just kind of like just do it. You said there's no drug use in here. Some crack talk right off the bat here. Yeah, but then how? Do some people pokers like crack. It is for me. By the way, you nice have place. to Ooh. smash that like button if you want to nice. be eligible for our first giveaway. So do that right now, and we'll give away the first annual subscription to Poker Go in five minutes. Here's Seth Davies, by the way, picking up Pocket King. Sobian raising it up with Ace Eight. Good to see Davies uh, coming out for the smaller buy-ins usually we see him you know start making his way into these tournaments once the buy-ins hit 25k but he was here for event number one he's obviously here for event number two so getting an early start to the pgt season three bet here from davies from the small blind small and of course the toughest position to play don't think zobian is going to tangle here got to give davies credit for a pretty narrow range there Hender Tucky is what we called it. Oh, really? Well, Hender Tucky is a bit out there. Yeah, that's Water Street. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Can't be past there? Water Street. <laughs> Something. The surrounding areas <laughs> of Water Street. <laughs> Donnie and I live in Henderson, in, in, in suburbia uh, Henderson. We live in non-Hender Tucky. <laughs> exactly. We live, on, we live close to the hill. Or, uh, like, you live, like, in the hill, almost. I basically live in California. Yeah, you actually... You kind of live yeah. at the M Resort. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Actually, here on Kristen Foxen. Still, I'm still getting used to the name switch, but I think it, I think it suits her. Her husband Alex, second second place yesterday. Yep. You know, we obviously watched that. If you missed uh, if you missed anything from yesterday's final table, the whole thing is on YouTube. But most importantly, the Ace Nine Hero Call oh highlight. You put God. that up this morning yeah. on our YouTube channel. Check that out. Just, I know we're only what, 13 days into the year, but. That is going to be in the running all year long for one of the calls of the year, for sure, and, and one of the hands of the year. I mean, speaking of going viral, this is our best performing yeah, video so on YouTube in the last month or so, uh, in the I first five hours. Do you remember that? In case you yeah, missed that action. Just too many calories. Go check it out. Oh, it's true. It's like my, I might as well, if I'm going to drink 180 calories, I'm, I don't know. It's not about the amount, it's about the quality. It's good I try, calories. I try not to drink any calories. That's why you got diet, big coke, line. and water. That's it. Yeah. Wow, Trey in the chat sending Donnie the invite for pizza. Am, am I invited? I mean, I said, I can't let you do that. I'll buy the pizza. I mean, <laughs> shout out, Trey. Thank you for joining us, man. Been, he's been with us for years. Oh, yeah. For years. Real Trey, baby. Met him. Remember we met him in, at Running Up Run, Reno? Reno, yeah, in <laughs> Reno. Well, that must have been like 2014 or something. That was so long ago. Run it up, Reno. Great stop. Yeah, definitely. Peppermill, shout out. Punsri with the check call. And just gin for him. Not only the flop, but also hitting the turn, making top two. Foxen left with just King High. Just tuning in. We're giving away a free annual subscription to Poker Go in the next few minutes. Just don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. This uh, Triton shirt that Punzri is wearing, Donnie, makes me think of like the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm invited to, to the pizza party. There you go. Punzri here leading on the turn. Hoping that Fox in raising an early position has the type of range that she can't fold here, but she has absolutely nothing and kicks her king high into the muck. We've got quite a lot of play left here at this final table. Zobi and Chip leader with 87 big blinds. Kerry Katz, the short stack, with 12 big blinds. Of course, yesterday, for those that tuned in, we had an epic showdown. Stacks were worth almost nothing at the end of it. And here's a look at our current table for six. Kerry Katz leading the charge as far as age goes, but age is just a number. As we know, Kerry's been very successful over the last few years. Ram Zobia, the youngest player at the table, 27 years old. Poker used to be a young man's game. 
shout out to the Did crew. The Why don't you just color this up? <laughs> or is they yeah, like I don't know. I don't think so. Donnie, you know Andrew Moreno really well. Is he excited for the moment? Has he, has he, uh, I mean, he's been here before. He's won big tournaments, but it's a little bit of a different scene here in the studio. Yeah, a bit of a different scene. He's obviously played uh, 10K buy-ins before, won the, the Win Millions main event for over a million dollars, has had some deep runs in the WSB main event, you know, some other deep runs elsewhere. Um, but as he put on his Instagram stories, I think it was yesterday, um, he's going to be taking some shots this year. He really wants to challenge himself, try and, you know, take his career to the next level. And I think, w you know, once you start playing 10Ks that are the non Poker Go Tour variety held in the studio, then I think the next progression is, you know, playing these high roller events that are here in the studio. And that's what he wants to, uh, wants to challenge himself with. He got, he got some coaching, uh, I think it was a year or two ago, from Chris Brewer, who we obviously know pretty well from playing all these PGT events. Um, so, so, yeah, it's time. He's on one bullet in this event, too. But one bullet, first time in the studio, just m makes the final table. There you go. <laughs> well, I hope he's in for the whole run here at the PokerGo Cup. Good opportunity here to get some points, and we all know that you know, it'll take two big scores at a minimum to be a contender for the Cup. Meanwhile, we look at Dave. He's raising it up to 90K. Punsri fighting back from the small blind with King Queen off. It's getting a little out of line here, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, King Queen off is one of those hands where I think you would prefer to three bet it in the position of Punsri. I mean, it's just going to be hard to play King Queen off suit out of position against a player like Seth Davies. King Queen suited might be more inclined to just call. You don't want to get blown off with a four bet from Davies. King Queen though, King Queen off, sorry, and you know, if Davies does like to four bet here, it's just it's a pretty easy fold, ultimately. Does Ace Queen shrink a little bit in your head as well, knowing that Punzri is three betting here from the small blind? He has to have him get, has to give him credit for a strong range. As I say that, he just moves <laughs> all in. I think Ace Queen suited is, is too strong and, and these players have a lot of history together. Like they know each other, they know how good each other are, so Winsory lays it down. Time for me to fire up the first nice. giveaway of the day for a free annual Pokego subscription. It's very, very I'm simple, ladies and gentlemen. Lifetime, so why a diaper? Diaper. Let us know in the day. chat who you think is going to win today. Although Pick a name. Almost, uh, There's no wrong answers. Let us know in the chat. This guy. In a few minutes, I'll pick a random winner. He's I'll credit you with a free annual subscription to Pokego. Yeah, I guess you are. He's almost he's Predict two, the winner in the two? chat. Almost Let's two. go. Yeah, he's starting to. We're, he's Here's a look at the event two summary. Starting to pee in the, in the toilet a little yeah. bit. Ben, you and Ethan Yao, Mr. Rampage he loves Poker. You, but also yeah. finished with the money. A different story. Uh, Coop's a lot harder than Pete. I can. I know from experience. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All the predictions are flowing into the chat. All your kids potty train? <laughs> yep. Hope so. <laughs> Youngest is 22. Not <laughs> <laughs> on stage for a while. Oh, the Kings are making their way around the table. Foxen's turn. Interesting table dynamic for Foxen being out of position directly against our chip leader. Oh, wow. And we got a clash on our hands here. Pocket Jacks versus Kings. Oh, oh wow. Zobian uh, playing a Koi. Is, is, this a, is this a thing you would often do, Donnie, call here with Jacks? Or is this like a small percentage type? play I wouldn't say it's small percentage and I wouldn't do it all the time oh wow I think Foxen's range here is probably pretty polarized raising out of the small blind she's gonna have a lot of total garbage hands. she's gonna have a lot of really premium hands so you know Zobian can just play the Jackson position a little slower obviously keep those trash hands in we know she has a good hand of course but doesn't need to go too crazy. I mean, we know, we also know, you know, Zobian starts his hand with 3.5 million. He's the chip leader, but he doesn't want to lose a big one to, to Foxen because 
That'll turn the tables. Interesting flop here. Foxen has the diamond to go along with it, but still, this looks pretty dangerous, right? Yeah, I think it's a good opportunity to three bet. Or check raise, sorry, three bet. Uh, <laughs> check raise here. Check calling, I don't know, might be hard. Playing a good player, you're deep, you're out of position. Draw heavy board. Saying that, of course, she just calls because, you know, every time I say something, it's totally wrong. Yep, that's how it works. Fox and having the king of diamonds in her hand obviously helps, especially with that turn card. <laughs> wow. Even though this is an over card to Foxen's hand, do you think she feels more comfortable with it knowing that Zobian didn't three bet before the flop, therefore making an ace in his hand less likely? I mean, Zobian could certainly have aces. I mean, he did call pre. You know, I don't think he's going to go crazy with a hand like an ace-10, ace-8, ace-9. Uh, ace-10, I think, is more likely to bet the flop than an ace-8 or ace-9. Check, check. River card, six of clubs. Definitely definitely a lot smaller pot than I anticipated when we saw those cards before the flop. Yes, the run, uh, run out of this board, I think, has kept this one on the smaller side. And th this river, I think, will do the same as well. Yeah, check, check. Wow, two big hands being shown down. <laughs> Zobian doesn't show, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he, so. uh, he gave the nod and, uh, you know, <laughs> half hour, whatever the delay is, when Foxen sees that hand, she might be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't just get it in? Like, <laughs> I didn't get the double? This is a really difficult river. 1.150. Oh, but Mateos is going to go for it here. Betting more than 1.1 million. This is filthy. Oh my Makes gosh. Makes the call with oh ace high. Oh my gosh. An early candidate for wow, call the of the, the series. World. Oh, I am floored. A lot of outs. Little look back there at Kristen's husband yesterday putting on a show. I wanted to just do Versus something on the river. <laughs> it was disgusting. I don't know. Zobie in there talking about possibly betting that river against Foxen. Cash game, I think. You might try a little nice little yeah. thin value bet there. Tournaments, the value of the chips go up, the ICM value, all that sort of stuff. Just check on with that short on value. Don't get too crazy. Thanks. We've got an interesting blend of suggestions here, or predictions, I should say, on who's going to win this final table. I'll give you guys one more minute to submit your best guess as to who is going to win this event today. I will draw a random entry and you will get a free year of Poker Go, meaning you can watch the whole new season of High Stakes Poker, which starts airing on January 24th. We're just about two weeks away from the latest season of High Stakes Poker debuting on Poker Go. Got an interesting cast of characters battling in that event. A battle of the King Highs. Both players whiffed. The little birdie told me we might have some more day one c on the way. What do you mean more day one? Day one energy, or day one oh, CBD drinks. CBD drinks? Yeah. I like it. I've been crushing those. I took home a six pack at, a, at the PGT Championship and I drank them all. <laughs> In, in one day? In no, <laughs> no, not in one day, but pretty, uh, pretty good. Not much happening on this board. A couple of king highs. Not too favorable favorable boards here. Look at Aram Zobian's bio from Cranston, Rhode Island. Hiking and video games among his hobbies. Also looks like he's into uh, exploring um, islands in the Pacific yeah, yeah. with that Indiana Jones safaris. Look. Safaris. Like, uh, like I said before, High Stakes Poker Season 10 premiering on January 24. If you want to subscribe right now to Poker Go and save yourself $20 on your annual subscription, do so by using promo code WATCHHSP10.
for the first year of your annual subscription. Eric Burson, Antonio Sfandiari, and Daniel Negreanu among the players in the mix on the new season of High Stakes Poker. It's going to, I've already watched those. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mentioned it yesterday. There's one hand between Eric Burson and JRB that's just off the charts. <laughs> All right, time for me to draw the winner for a free annual subscription to Poker Go. The winner is Rahul Lal. L A L. Rahul Lal. Rahul, congratulations. You win a free year of Poker Go. All you have to do is send an email to social at pokergo.com. Attach a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account. And then we will be in touch to credit you with the annual subscription. GG Rahul. Well done. By the way, here's a look at Andrew Moreno. Biggest cash. Just a casual 1.4 million in June 2021. Must be nice. Those are the kind of caches that really change a player's life. We've got some of our regulars in the chat. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. Always love hearing where the crowd is tuning in from. As Foxen raises it up with King Queen off. I'm having tacos tonight, Donnie. It's not Tuesday. No, but it's, it's Friday it's the 13th. It's, it's time. I think I, I think <laughs> Jess and I have Mexican food at least once a week. Interesting play here from Kerry, electing to just call off a sub 10 big blind stack. And it's raising some eyebrows there in the, in the big blind, Donnie. You see how Andrew is looking at Kerry, not really worried about Kristen? Great price. It is a really good price. King Jack, not the greatest hand offsuit in a multi-way pot. What if the flop comes Jack, Jack, Jack? Yeah, I mean, of course. What if the flop comes Jack, Jack, Jack? I mean. <laughs> I was really hoping the flop would come Jack, Jack, Jack. Plus, I mean, carry should probably be really strong here yeah. a lot of times. I mean, alarm bell is going off for Kristen probably, but. He's going to take a stab at it for 50K. A little min stab. Oh, we got France, Toronto, University of Florida, Vancouver, New Jersey, Paris, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Niagara Falls, Powder Springs, Georgia. Lots of Canada. What, what? All the Canadians are tuning in for Kristen. That's right. That is she's, right. She's still flying the Canadian flag, by the way. I'm wondering how Kerry's going to play this, given that he just elected to call pre-flop. So, would you encourage him to call again? Any advice? <laughs> oh boy. That's one of them. <laughs> All right, my chips are going somewhere. Might as well go to you. Oh, the speech. That wouldn't have been my advice. Oh. <laughs> well, you should have advised me. I might have listened to you. I fooled. Speech jam, you should be scared of it. Best hand. You gotta be scared of the speech jam. Ten speech nine of clubs? Is the speech jam the strongest move in poker, Don? I have the king of diamonds. It's up there. <laughs> it is up there. Do we have any uh, speech jammers no. in the chat today? Let us know. <laughs> uh, Carrie Katz, meanwhile, 12th on poker's all time money list. Maybe? Where is he gonna yeah, be yeah. at the end of this year, Don? <laughs> nice. uh, that makes sense. I have I have looked at the money list. I don't know how far he's behind. I'll He'll say come 10. Come to me next time. Yeah, I think he's gonna. I, th I think he's gonna hit the top 10 this year. Kerry Katz sneakily on his way to the top 10 of the all-time money list. I think if if you would ask a random poker fan to guess where he's at on the all-time money list, they'd probably be just over two, right? Way off. Round. I had 2.2 .2 before that hand. Yeah. Whatever I lost. Fox and raising with ace-five suited. St very, very strong hand, Donnie. We could see some fireworks here, knowing how the the, the GTO bots really love a hand like ace-five. I could see Fox and fighting back here. Zobian with his first three bet of this final table, and Katz with a nice little casual toss there. A little backhand toss. Whoa. What was that? 
That was, did you guys hear that at home? <laughs> what was that? What just happened? Hey, I just want to say it wasn't me, all right? <laughs> it definitely was not was, one of us. It was not in this room. That was hysterical. Fox I, hand. I had four betting hands. What's my hand, kings? Maybe. A four betting seven? Indeed. You had a seven suited? He's five suited. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> my big five, right? Yeah. That's great. Let's get my chips out here. These are long tables. Yeah, like, I feel like Yes. Hard, <laughs> hard for you, I guess. <laughs> now, that was the most exciting part of this final <laughs> table so far. Very exciting. Punzri put his mask back on. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe he's the source. Maybe he's close to the source. We'll probably never find out. Is it a tell? I mean, that sounded almost like too perfect that it had to be fake, right? I, I don't, I'm so confused. <laughs> I came to write some personal checks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right knew that you can't cash, man. Since they, uh, since they're making us pay for Javier's, I'm writing them personal checks in protest. Zobian. With the race to 100K under the gun, I got Cats a, and Fox and I got both a, made the just call. Just a piece of salmon the other day, and it was 60 bucks. You know, I, I mean, they give Ace 10 King oh, yeah, yeah, on the sure. flop. Yeah, it's, it's it might have to do with the relationship. A little bit of something Dino for Zobian and Fox and Cats yeah. with this one. Cheap. Yeah, it's not any cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. It's but something. they control the markup on the other stuff, probably. Mm. I, I, I don't know. It's open with a little bit. Yeah. Whatever it is. It's one big blind. Story. <laughs> Spicy turn card there for Zobian, who hits Broadway. We need more. We need more uh, flatulence on poker streams because it really engages the <laughs> chat. <laughs> it's a really good point of engagement for the audience. <laughs> Zobian uh, running pretty well to start this final table. Didn't lose too many chips when he had jacks versus foxes, kings. I mean, this explains the story of why he's the chip leader in this event. Yeah, you know, you make make it hands. Play well, run well. They Sage is suggesting that it's Buffalo Hanks testing his mic. I mean, I I can't uh, oh. count out anyone at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Rampage Poker did finish <laughs> on the bubble. Huh? 77? We'll look here at no, the beard game. Right. Moreno or Zobi. Let's know in the chat who's got the better beard. <sighs> I, I'm i going to have to go with... Well, so, okay, let me say this. Zobian's one is... is 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 well shaped. Yes, uh, you, you can exactly what I was going to say. Very well worked too. on. Uh, Moreno's beard has more potential. Like the hair, the hair is so thick. It's th yeah, it's thicker. He might be hiding a protein bar in there. <laughs> <laughs> Zobians gives me some uh, Fabian Quas vibes. Yes, that's very right. The pointy little beard. He might be the best beard in poker because it's always very nicely shaped. Yep. Got to keep those cheeks clean. But Moreno's whole vibe is to not, like, he can't have it shaped. He's got the baggy shirt. He's got the, the headband that looks like it's a T-shirt that was ripped in half and rolled up. <laughs> the hair's just kind of no like, huh? it's messy, but no it's definitely today. styled. <laughs> Brent, Brent, Hanks, out. Brent Hanks taking credit for the uh, extracurricular sounds on today's stream. He's uh, saying that he didn't think the, think the mics would work in the bathroom.
I mean, is this just a, a squeaky chair, or are we <laughs> getting a second round of this? Ace six suited, getting most players to fold. Cats, however, finds an ace in the big blind with just ten big blinds. Does decide to lay it down. Not a lot of moving around of the chips so far. Fox and down 400k on the day. Zobian up 400k. The rest of the players are still pretty close to where they started. I hope Moreno grows his hair out even longer. <laughs> Just goes full like like ninja, almost. A little bit ninja vibes. Maybe, maybe a Dragon Ball Z character. Lots of votes for the Zobian beard in the chat. Kings again. Punsery this time. Fourth time we've seen kings. You got kings. <laughs> you got kings. <laughs> you got kings. Everybody gets pocket kings. Punji with the min raise. By the way, event number three also underway. Jeff Platt in the mix in that tournament. You can follow the live reporting of event number three on pgt.com. We have live reporting daily of all our events. And let's hit 500 likes on today's video. If we hit 500 likes, we'll give away another annual subscription to PokerGo. Why not? Three bet here from Foxen with the eights. Kicks it up to 300K. here, given that Katz is the short stack. Punstreet trying to figure out how do I make the most money in this situation. Not happy. <coughs> Quick lay down there. How often are you just calling there, Donnie, with the Kings out of position? I don't think in this spot I would do that too much. I'd be more inclined to put in a four bet that isn't a shove or shove. All right. Give me some techno music and these Hair Club final table chip counts, but Zobian still on top, Kerry Katz the short stack, which is seven big blinds. We know from yesterday's stream, being the short stack doesn't really matter a whole lot. Sean Winter went from the shortest stack to the ultimate champion in this event, or in, in, a, in, in yesterday's event, so still anyone's game. No eliminations just yet. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are watching, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let us know who you're rooting for in the chat. This is a one hour free preview of the action. Continue watching on Poker Go with at the end of the hour with Ali Najad and Maria Ho on the commentary. Interesting spot here for Moreno. As we always mention, that short stack <laughs> does put an interesting dynamic. I wouldn't be too surprised to see Moreno move all in here. He's got 19 bigs. And there it is. There's the shove. From the big blind. Only one player to contend with, and Zobian quickly folds. Zobian with a little smirk there, like, yeah, yeah. You, you caught me, buddy. You, you <laughs> caught me trying to stick my hand in that cookie jar. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Back-to-back uh, -back music. That's great. All right, Donnie, give me, give me this one. There you go. 14 months ago, I asked Chris Brewer to be my coach. Somehow he agreed over that time we cashed for over $2.5 million, made five final tables, had three wins, an incredible run only made possible under his guidance. 
I'm leaving this experience with a mentor and a friend. Citing what I mentioned earlier, Andrew Moreno hiring Chris Brewer to coach him. And it uh, became a pretty profitable venture between the two of them. I think up until the WPT World Championship that just concluded at the win, Marino was the number one money earner at the win Las Vegas. Wow. That's you know, pretty he cool. Had that, he had that win millions win for 1.4 million, but then he had some other pretty big results there as well. Here we see him with two queens. The big pairs keep making their way around the table. He limps in from the small blind. Punts who checks the jack four. I love limbed pots from the blinds. Always so much, so much potential here. And this, this has, troublesome. has the potential to be trouble for Punzri as Moreno has the over pair versus the very well disguised top pair for Punzri, who must be thinking that he's in a good spot here. Yeah, not only does he have top pair, backdoor flush, and straight draws. Basically the nuts, yeah, you're I saying? Mean, I mean, this is a good spot for Punzri. Very disguised for Moreno. Min bet, 50K. Little one big blind bet. I always love to see those. Not really a... Never mind. I'm not even going to finish my sentence because <laughs> I was wrong again. Check raise here from Moreno. What's the thinking here, Donnie, as far as making that move? I mean, Moreno's hand is pretty disguised in this spot. He doesn't have to have, you know, a, a, a jack, for example. I mean, we know he doesn't. He could be doing this with a lot of hands, like the four fives, the five sixes, especially the ones that are suited and have that backdoor flush draw equity as well. That's an interesting card on the turn. Five of diamonds, giving Punsri open-ended straight draw. Wow. Twice pot remaining here for Moreno. I think we'll see Moreno size up here. 450 in the pot. Two to one stack to pot ratio for Moreno. Oh, he checks it. Okay. Continuing to trend. Of Donnie and I not knowing anything about poker. Punzri, given the added equity, more or less likely to bet here. I can see him going either way. I mean, you don't have the best top pair. Yes, you have top pair, of course, but you don't have the best top pair. You could just check behind with that added equity as he does. Ten of clubs on the river. course we'd all love to see a double pot shove here from Moreno but it's not it's not impossible it's also you know tricky and I'm sure this is running through Moreno's head of, of the sizing in regards to Kerry Katz being there with you know eight big blinds in his stack I think we'll probably see a pot size bet from Moreno which puts Punsbury in just kind of a really tricky spot. Maybe Moreno checks again, trying to induce a bet from his opponent. All right, chat pros, what bet sizing would you handle here? Looks like we're getting a bet. Is that 520? <laughs> Five twenty indeed. That's right, so a bit over pot. Punsery looks uh, a little puzzled here. It's all pretty good one to pull in with. Oh, we got some <coughs> suggestions in the chat for the bet size. Ten seconds. How you doing? Most people in the chat going for about two thirds pot. Reminder here, if you 
If we hit 500 likes on the video, we're going to give away our annual subscription to PokerGo. <coughs> We've got about 20 minutes left here on our free preview stream. Please sign up to PokerGo to keep watching. We've got monthly, quarterly, and annual plans available. What's our discount code again? PG Cup 23. All right, use PG Cup 23 to save $20 on your cool. annual subscription. Oh, he gives it up. Wow. Very disciplined from Punsery. That is a big fold. It is a very big fold. Very, very well done from Punsery. I don't like folding top hair. Who does? <laughs> Not a fan. But he correctly does so there. The chat pro is doing what the chat pros do. Saying terrible overbet there. If Punsery had called, it would have been an amazing overbet. Adam says folding top hair in a blind battle hurts. It does. Oh, we got a little bit of a walking cam here. A little close-up of the action. Carry Cat's still our short stack with seven big blinds. Zobian with ace eight of diamonds raising it up to 105,000. Watch so many of those poker go streams. I can just hear Hanks's voice commentating the hands. Well, this hand. This hand, yeah. You yeah, yeah. probably can't believe I didn't call him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was he amped he's up gotta, about the river uh, bluff? <laughs> he's got to come up with a nickname for you. He's got some great. Yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah, he's the nickname master. Let's see what he has to say. I don't think he ever. I don't think I ever get to call him commentating. He does a lot of the poker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's he call you? Yeah, him. No. Jeff yeah. Flatley, yeah. Really Shark, yeah. Shark Jarvis. Oh. No love for us, Ryan. That was a Jason original. Of course. But, uh, We're the B team. Thanks forever the B team. The B team. Just on the you. bench forever. These guys don't even oh. know. And it's not no, even Hanks great. and Platt that's today. Great. Platt's playing. Hanks is working. Ali Najad and Maria Ho are in the A team seats over on PokerGo.com. We're keeping the bench nice and warm. Thanks, everyone, by the way, for tuning in, hanging out with us on YouTube. If you're new to our channel, daily videos going out here as Kerry Katz pushes that stack forward. Work on it with some sound effects. Like yeah. Bigs. <laughs> we have the speech jam and the whistle jam. Not sure which one's stronger. But Punsry has a real hand. Less here. than eight bigs. 390. Five. <laughs> really trying no. to sell people on it. Yeah, How much is it? I can't count. Yeah. 390 buys, right? Keith says Zobian looks like he's fresh off the Am Amish farm. <laughs> well, Punsry looks like he might he might call here. With the ace nine off. He oh, does make the call. Wow. I hate when you get oh, called so on your first shot. It's a little loosey goosey given Mr. Trouble. Kerry Katz You're the way he boys. plays. Oh, no. Got one good one. Yeah, Another good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was a loose call, I guess. He had to, He actually Back had to think to about it. Opposite yeah. of trouble. Yeah. That's good. Good, one. good spot for Kerry Katz to double up here. Just don't have to sweat. Let's just put a red 10 out there. We don't have Sean Winter here to predict. Yeah, but the board. a red 10 could have, you know. Two other red cards, and they could all be diamonds. And a black ten would be better. <laughs> <coughs> a red ten, 50-50 to add to a potential flush draw here. Let's see the flop. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh, what, oh. what a sweat! Seven five deuce. The right kind of red for red ace. Carry cats. That's a good one. I thought he has that one. Ace of Nine oh, of on. spades on wow. the turn. Brutal card for Katz, who's now down to three outs himself, or he'll be eliminated in sixth place. River card, seven of clubs, carry Katz eliminated. Wow. Tough beat for Katz, who was. I feel like carry Katz takes the, the most beats at these final tables. I mean, like he all, it always seems to happen. What wouldn't they do? His style is conservative, but aggressive. You're a big man. And then sometimes you got to win a showdown, and. It wasn't in the Is cards for him today. Yeah, you're the button. Carry Katz, two for two at the Bogo okay. Cup. I might have had a nine. Yeah. You're what? Aye, 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 yeah, aye, aye. So painful. <laughs> so painful. That nine on a turn after that clean flop. Carry Katz, GG on to the next event for him. Yeah, I paid someone to stab like two million. Uh, We're yeah, down to the final five.
soothing voice of Paul Campbell in the background announcing the action for the Lions going up in event number three, which is now underway. If you want to follow along with the action, PGT.com. We've got her. live reporting going on. One, 51 three, players two, five, in the mix so far. Alex Fox is a chip leader. Of course, staying in the family. Jeff Platt is above starting stack. Excited to announce that. We got all the regulars back in the mix. Negrano, Seidel. Awesome is already busted. Rampage Poker is playing as well. Don't miss out. PGT.com. If you want to rewatch yesterday's final table, the whole event is available for free on YouTube. It was a really fun one. Oh, yeah. Really good group of experienced players. Here's a lot a of fun hands. Here's a look at event number three. Let's see who we can pick out there. Dan Smith, Nick Petrangelo, Jeremy Osmus. I guess he bought back in. David Peters in the mix. Oh, my there God. Dim there the lights, is. ladies and gentlemen. Dallas Dim. Mavericks fan. Wow. That's all they give him? Come on. That's a burn. Where's the no game on the future patch, Jeff? Exactly. But that would require actually going. Yeah, make sure you pan over, get the other superstar in the in the mix. I think the lights need to be dimmed a bit more. Big spot here for Jeff Platt. I heard looks like he's got some chips. I heard he went 150 k so he's up a bit. They start with 125. I heard he withdrew all of his funds from his savings account to participate in this tournament. So we have to root for some for some good vibes. <laughs> Brent Hanks just walks into this room. I hope he's. Got his uh, flatulence under control at this point. Yeah, it looks a little loosey-goosey to me. If you're just tuning in, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We've got 15 minutes left on our free preview. If we hit 500 likes by the end of the video, we'll give away another free annual subscription to PokerGo. Glad I sold it. <laughs> Naturally. What's in uh, Andrew Moreno's? What what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call that? Like a, you have three stacks. a thermos? Yeah, I have to. Uh, yeah, a uh, a tumbler. A tumbler. Two Why is it called a tumbler? So yeah. Insulated Thank you. thermos. What's in it though? Green tea? Is he green tea guy? I think he's a big green tea guy. <laughs> he yeah. looks like a green tea guy. I, so I, don't, I don't think he's a coffee guy. I think he's more of a green tea guy. It could be any tea, really. Picking up some hands here Ooh. with the ace ten of spades. A little Earl, Earl Grey to get your day going. David Becker says, playing my first live tourney tonight, $140 buy-in. Let's go, David. And make sure you come back to tomorrow's preview. Let us know how you did. Exactly. Donnie and I streaming daily. One-hour previews of the action. Open here from Moreno to 170K. Punts be certainly a playable hand in position. 10 8 parts. Don Masker says Moreno is the Rambo of the tournament. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I feel that. I feel those vibes. Tropical Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> now we're seeing a flop here. Justin asked when they will see us in the mix. Well, Justin, first I need my savings account to be uh, Justin, <laughs> over 10 k Can you wire $10,000 <laughs> to the following <laughs> bank account? A brutal flop here for, I mean, maybe for punts, but he does have a lot of equity. I was going to say, he's got a lot of outs. I think this is going in somehow. 390k in the pot after Moreno made it 170 before the flop. This is the second blind battle in a row between these two. Last time we had Queens versus Jack Four. Moreno ended up winning that hand. Puncher made a good fold on the river. They're back at it. Moreno once again with a better hand, but lots of outs for Puncher. 220K. A little over half pot. Oh. This feels like the type of time extension that he needs to use to figure out, am I shoving? 
I think we're getting a shove, and I think I'm going to be right on this one. Justin Leeson. 575. 575 is a raise. Inviting Moreno to shove here. Uh, Justin Leeson, please email support at PokerGo with your question about an event that you can't find, and they'll be able to direct you in the right direction. Moreno doing the math. 1.11 million behind for Moreno. Already 220 in there. Punter, he does cover. Oh, there's, all there's in the is shove. the That's the move. And there's the call. Wow, here we go. Biggest pot of the day so far. Andrew Moreno at risk, has to fade 12 outs here. A whole bunch of hearts and, of course, those eights. Exciting stuff, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Exciting <laughs> stuff, <laughs> indeed. To be, I Just look at your blood <laughs> pumping. <laughs> Three million in the middle here. Huge implications on the line here. If Moreno wins this hand, he's going to be second in chips. If Punzri wins this hand, he's going to be our new chip leader. Turn card, nine Ooh, of hearts. There it is. Clean ending there on the turn. Moreno drawing dead right away. Disappointing finish for him as Punat well, Punzri grabs the tournament there. chip lead here. And Andrew Moreno exits in fifth place, taking home $66,400. And hopefully we'll see him again in event number three. Tough blow on the turn there. Takes it like a champ. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Yeah, man. All right, the ace turn of spades is not a good hand. Yeah, that's the poison. <laughs> yeah. Poison, you gotta avoid that. <laughs> uh, I didn't even realize. Right? <laughs> yeah. Zobian and Punzerino tied with 3.9 million a piece. Boxen <laughs> and Davies tied at the bottom. 1.3 million each. <laughs> While you're at it, if you're watching, check out play.pg.com. You want that million or we have <laughs> free <laughs> pick em contest running <laughs> all year home. round. We're giving away real prizes. No, nothing, it costs nothing to enter. If you love poker, check it out, play.pg.com. Giving away some real stuff. All year round, by the way. Whenever we have streaming going on, Donnie and Tim are making sure that we got some fun pick em contests going on at the same time. Thank you. That's right. The likes are falling behind. Only 277 likes. Can we hit 500 in the next Three nine. five minutes or so? I'm, I'm a little four million. A little disappointed. I thought we'd hit 500 easily today. I do appreciate everyone for tuning in. We're down to four-handed play. Zogian with the raise. Punzri makes the call with ace-jack suited. You got like 3-8. I'll count for you now. Yeah, 3-9. Three, three, Looks like 3-8, three, 3-9. Eight, three, eight, Fobev says, don't beg for likes. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. Thank you. Please like the video. Three-handed play here. Foxen just dominated all around. Clubs dominated. Queen dominated. And there are the clubs. Oh, boy. This could be bad news. Interesting also flop. Also, Zobian with the, <laughs> with the top pair. Interesting flop here. Foxen is crushed. Zobian has top pair. And Punjri has the nut flush draw. Kevin says, everyone else is, party is partying or playing poker. It's Friday. It's Friday, Friday. <laughs> a great song. One of my favorites. Zobian with the bet, 120K. Could see both players calling here. What are you guys' plans for this Friday night? I'm going to go to watch a Silver Knights hockey game. There you go. And eat tacos. There you go. Punsery just calls. Wow. A club on the turn, if Foxen calls here, would be a terrible spot for her, especially given her stack size. <coughs> Jeffrey Goodman just compared us to Mr. Beast. Appreciate it. He has like 100 million subscribers. <laughs> we have like we're close. A little, a few couple zeros off. Exactly. 
Oh, wow. You got a raise. Here Foxen we go. going for it. This changes the entire dynamic of the hand here, Donnie. 380. 380. Yeah. If Zobian continues to be involved, Puntry might sneak out. Well, it depends on Zobian's involvement. Three-way action here still on the flop. Wow, uh, gives it up. Ooh. So this is the worst case scenario for Foxen. Yes. If she's left to tangle with Punzri. But with her stack size, Donnie, if Punzri calls, are we shoving a lot of turns? Well, I think also with clubs? with Foxen's stack size, you could see Punzri here shove now. Right, I mean, he, with Zobian out of the way, you know, Punzri's stack is certainly not at risk now. With Zobian in the pot, they're both having 3.9 million. It makes things a bit trickier. All in, All in here we go. In. Foxen in trouble. Is this what she wanted or is it the opposite? She does not look happy at all. She would. Wow, she, she gives, gives it, it up. up. Okay. Wow. Good fold. Good fold. I mean, back in the day, we would call this a race for information, Donnie. <laughs> how, how do you how do you classify this? I mean, I guess it's a race for information. <laughs> she got, she got the information. She, she got what she was looking for, and she made the right decision. I mean, this is a whole lot cheaper than going broke here. I'm not totally sure Ray's folding there with Foxen's hand is the correct move. But if we didn't see the cards of Punzri. <laughs> but but <laughs> let me let me say this. The fact that Punzri first called Zobian's bet and then jammed over the top when given the opportunity, that should also really narrow his range. Oh, because no, for sure. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. more suggesting that Something maybe low. Foxen doesn't want to yeah. put that raise in. Right. You know. They do. Well, there she is. She seems like she nailed it. She said maybe a something the clubs to punch her, so. Instincts are spot on. We've got just about four minutes left here on our free preview. Please know that we have a discount going on Poker Go. Use PG Cup 23 to save $20 on your annual subscription. Ali Nijada Maria Ho doing commentary on the remainder of the stream on Poker Go. And we have live chat. Available there as well. All in. All in from Fox in here with eights. Let's see if Punchery wants to risk 15 bigs with the good old Queen Jack offsuit. Look at the blinds. Toss him into the muck. Fox and gets some of the money back that she lost on the previous hand. look at Kristen Foxen's career highlights. First cash going back to 2006. Her first six-figure cash in the latest event, WSOP. Won her first bracelet and then her biggest cash in 2019 at the Poker Masters, winning an event there as well. Nine wins, 141 caches. Very, very strong showing by Kristen Foxen. The artist formerly known as Kristen Big Nell, in case you've been living under a rock. Plays a lot of high stakes cash around Las Vegas here. Former Supernova elite. God, imagine, you got to pretty good to get that. Imagine going from being a Supernova elite <laughs> and grinding 20 tables to being a live <laughs> cash player. Like <laughs> playing one table, like 25 hands an hour. <laughs> I would fall asleep at the table. <laughs> I'm sure it took some some time to adjust. like going from crack cocaine to decaf coffee. <laughs> I think I think Kristen was a back to back to back supernova elite, three years running. Good spot here for Davies to shove and he does. I forgot to set Davies one, one, two, table. Five. Yep. Yeah, he's been quiet. He's for been a while. super quiet, just tiptoeing around. Looks like we'll be heading out the door here Donnie thanks everyone so much for tuning in this was our one hour free preview of the action on pokego.com go head on over there right now watch the action with Alina Jad and Maria Ho on the commentary Donnie and I will be back tomorrow <coughs> with more coverage event number three Jeff Platt could be at that final table follow the live reporting on pgt.com and once more use promo code pgcup23 
to save $20 on your annual subscription. And we'll just catch this last hand here with Foxen under the gun. She gives it up. Um, but thanks all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. As the action folds around to Seth Davies, who has 8-6 offsuit in the small blind. He's going to limp. Well, we, we might see one more fun hand here. Wintry has been involved in many fun blind battles already so far. Has since also extended his chip lead. Did not hit the mark for the giveaway. We'll try again next time. Try again tomorrow. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again, baby. Oh. Is that a lyric from an Aaliyah song? That is. Are you are you impressed that I picked up on that reference? No. Dust yourself off and try. I think you're up to up to speed with everything in pop culture. So. <laughs> all right. And on that note, thanks all so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Continue watching on Pokemon.com right now.